Thank you. 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 Thank Uh, platform. Provider, correct. Provider, okay. um, so what we do is we do reskilling, upskilling, and then we find people jobs. Wow. Um, and then now we have our on-demand learning platform where we have over sixteen thousand videos. Wait, how many? Sixteen thousand videos. Oh my! Yeah. It's already there. Yes. I can just go on it now. That's like, right. Oh you could God, sign up so and cool. register, and it's only twenty-eight ringgit per month. Because I mean, I'm I'm always looking for things to help my own like employees on how they can reskill and upskill. That's yeah. something that you guys. Yes. We're doing for Air Asia first, right? That's right. Yeah. So there are courses on digital marketing, wow. on software engineering, things like you want to know about Python, for instance. And then we also Python. have something. Yeah, Python. <laughs> <That's> like, <laughs> as a language, <laughs> okay, it's a machine learning language. So we also have something for the kids as well, uh, from standard one wow. all the way to form five, wow. in three different languages: oh, English. So I don't have to teach them. I can just Chinese. be like, now watch yeah. this. <laughs> yes, that's right. And you can monitor them too to see whether they actually. Actually, watch the videos. What? You, oh, that's yeah, whether cool. they only yeah. watch the I, first yeah. five minutes and the and last play, five minutes yeah. or something, so you could really watch <laughs> and see whether they're doing good or not in that oh, course. Oh, that's amazing! Okay. So anyway, we have this Inspire series. Okay, is our own original content nice. where we actually um, engage the subscribers and expose them to leadership. Oh, uh, so what we have is. Um, A series, series of leaders, of... Oh, well, well renowned from them, leaders. From yes. them. Oh wow! Yes. So cool. they will explain about things that they're very good at and how they become very good at their own skills and so forth. So it's something that our own subscribers or even um, those who just want to go on and check yes, it out, right? Exactly, what, what kind of yeah. leaders? Who who are the leaders that you've so gotten so far? So we have YB Said Sadeh. Oh, so he nice. He was sharing us about how to be a good debater. Okay. Um, and then we have Chef One as well. Chef One. Yes. Really? Oh my God! I can't <laughs> <laughs> yes, and and he shared with us in terms of like how did he become a chef from okay. a banker, um, oh, and then we that. also have uh, Dato Amir Maidin. You know the Maidin store. I love store? him as, yeah. as an entrepreneur. Like he's memang like so inspiring. Yes. Right? Yeah. So it's a collaboration that we have here with Air Asia Rice okay. Okay. with Air Asia Academy to. Enhance the uh, passengers' journey when so they're they can, in the car. Yes, okay. so they can scan the code, oh. and then they, it leads them right to Arisha This Academy. This one, I see it. Correct. No, I think or, it's great or, what you yeah. guys are doing because I feel like a lot of people want to learn. You know, we need to be more competitive globally as well. Yes. So it's, we, we always need to keep on learning and can't think that you know we're too. We know everything already, right? That's so right. if you make it so easy for. The mass yes. to to access this It's amazing way. It's doing. very accessible and yeah. very affordable. Like I mentioned, it's twenty eight ringgit a month, and then you can enjoy and learn something every day. Also, all ages because you, yeah. you mentioned you have kids all the way up to like yes, you know, yeah. to even a retiree. Right, because there's also things like how to learn to do tai chi every day, Amazing. or learn new hobbies like learning how to play the drums. I think a lot of our um, followers want to hear from you too. I would love to share, you know, my journey. Yeah, yeah. it's been ten years already, isn't it? Twelve. Twelve years. Twelve. Wow. But your book says the last ten decades. Yeah, because it took two years to. <laughs> to oh, two years it. of ideation, is it? Yeah, okay. of writing and coming to fruition. Ah, so tell yeah. me about the book. The book. Yeah. So the book is a review of my 10 years mm -hmm. of being an entrepreneur. Yeah. So it's like you know how when you buy something you have a five star review or two star review. So it's literally just that. Like how many stars did I give this entrepreneurship journey? Right? I've yeah. been through it for 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. So in it, right, I I wrote a lot about the real stuff. So things that I never said on social media: the ugly, the good, um, the pretty, the the the, the not so pretty parts. Right. Right. Being an so VV exposed. Exposed <laughs> by me. Okay. By myself. But I, I wrote about like you know fundraising, managing a team, yeah. um, scaling up, going international. All these stuff that I had to learn mm -hmm. by just doing. Right. You know, nobody taught me. There was no Air Asia Academy courses that I could check out. I wish you started this 12 years ago. <laughs> I um, think the key so thing is about. to be brave. Right, just be bold and just do it. Yeah. Because you'll never know what it might lead you to, right? Exactly. If you just keep dwelling and over prepare things, and you will never get there. Yes. Overthinking. You're right. Well, I mean, yeah. I do notice a lot of people do overthink a yeah. lot, and they never get there. Exactly. Yeah. So if you have a good idea, 
just jump in you know of course learn and do your research but yeah. like don't take too long because then you lose the momentum yes you know so when you overthink so That's even right. with this book a lot of people said to me like are you sure you want to share this much you know then they started making me worried and uh -huh. concerned i'm like should i should i not <laughs> but now the book's launched and a lot of people love it and it's been it's great. a bestseller isn't it yes yes it's so, in all major bookstores now how has it been for you so what is your secret is it Okay, I've known you for a few years and what I notice is you're very calm. In any situation, you're very like cool, you're this cool it's, chick. It's just the surface, but <laughs> inside, inside it's like, oh my God, what am I going to do? <laughs> is that your, your secret to just appear calm and think about it later? Or yeah, like? I think sometimes you just got to go head on and just do it, right? So if there's a problem, you just got to face it. Quickly, oh. how did you come about thinking we should have a fashion valley? Huh. Um, well, it was at the time when e-commerce was moving, mm. you know, and in Malaysia it was still in the infancy stage. And I thought this was a good opportunity. I, I learned about online shopping in London. Yeah. I studied. When I came back, I realized there was nothing like it, and maybe we should start something. And I, I being a blogger, uh -huh. I had the um, following already. Right, right? It's dark, female, dark blogger. Or proud dark. So dark was started. Um, out of my own personal journey wearing the hijab mm. you know I felt that I was ready and I wanted to be you know um, owning this modern Muslim woman um, mm. in a hijab mm. but when I was shopping around like there wasn't anything that really called to me because everything was about the product right there was nothing about like the idea of what this wo woman would look like and what her life would look like and what are her ambitions and her career so I, I wanted more you know, right. um, and I, I couldn't resonate with any of the brands at that time. So then I thought, you know what, why don't I start m my own? Like, because it was either the really affordable ones mm. in bazaars, you know, or shop lots, or the luxury brands. There was nothing really in between. Mm -hmm. And I thought, why was there no um, brand that served this tier? Right. And so I started Dark. And we wanted to promote women, progressive women, mm -hmm. um, getting them connected with each other. And that's exactly what we did. And when we launched the first collection, everything sold out like right. in a day. So yeah. it was it was then that I realized that women actually wanted this. They okay. craved uh, you know, a modern, um, international feel kind of brand. And, and I really feel like this brand has legs to become an international brand. Yeah. I, I believe that too and I've seen that you have collaborated with quite a few international yeah. brands, right? The latest was this, um, I think Disney Toy Story? Disney, yeah. We Is had it the just Toy Story. Toy Story or just a no, bunch of Disney characters so with your duck bag? We've done collaborations with really fun ones with like Starbucks, right. even with Tea Light, even with um, you know, a, a Malaysian uh, legend like Datuk Lat. We did a yeah. Merdeka collection with him. So we try to keep it fun for customers um, with new collaborations, new ideas. So what's your vision for the whole group? My vision is to have the biggest group of brands mm. that focus in modest fashion niche. Because I still believe we need to have a niche. Yes. So my niche is modest fashion. Yeah. That's what I'm good at. That's what I believe in. Yeah. And um, the hope is that I can build more and more brands like Duck but serving different people, um, offering different kinds of um, uh, modest fashion uh, offerings. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's I a, hope. That's a great vision. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> but what do you do with your free time? Do you have any free time? I do. I mean, I exercise because exercising is probably one of the ways Secrets. for me to distress myself right. because then I completely block everything else. Yeah. I will be thinking, oh, I just have two more laps to go. Oh. or. Like, yeah, I'm gonna beat my friend there with playing tennis and so forth. So it's just focusing on that moment and I completely nice. forget all the other problems for a while. For a while, yes. Please. Then yeah. you come back to it. Yes, but with that's a clearer right. head, a clearer mind. Yeah. Right? yeah. And what about you? How do you manage your stress? I mean, you have so many things yeah. to juggle. I guess I am generally very positive and yeah. I, I'm restless. Yeah. So I need to be busy all the time. Okay. So it works for me. Yeah. You know, having more projects, a lot of things on my plate. If it's too easy, I get bored. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I also started working out. I hired a personal trainer. Oh, good. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I, that's the only way to get me to work out. <laughs> and yeah, I've been doing uh, strength training okay. and like treadmill. Yeah. And you're right. When I actually run yeah. and I think of nothing, some ideas come and clarity comes and I've actually come up with some solutions to my problems 
while right. I'm exercising. It's amazing. Yeah. So so yeah. I mean, and I hope you don't start texting after that because I <laughs> tend to do that yeah. because the eyes just come out like oh my god I gotta. Don't like, want to forget it. Yes. You know. But what I love also when I run and it's 40 yeah. minutes or what I can watch something. Right. You know. So I think this will be one of one of the things on my playlist is oh. Air Asia Academy. I, I oh, thank, thank you. you for introducing me to it because. I think what you're doing is amazing. is a great value, right? Is we aim to disrupt education, so you could get your certification for that. and get in-demand jobs um, through Air Asia Academy. Mm -hmm. Thank you yeah. for doing this. For oh, thank you enough. for helping me promote this too. Of course, I'm going to be a subscriber now. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, let's take a selfie. Yep. Okay. One, two, smile. Nice. Okay. Okay, we're here. Thank you so much for taking me on a ride and teaching me about Air Asia Academy. I'm gonna get on it. Well, Thank you so much. It's been fun. It's been Thank fun you. as always. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. See you soon. Have a good day. You too.